I, why would a woman want to be with someone who is degrading women in such a way? Okay. So the dating market is saturated with women who are low hanging fruit, single moms. Why should any man make an effort for that? Let's, let's just, let's add a bunch of comments to this video because so many men, so many men are either going to be on one side or they're going to be on the other. They're the majority of men are going to be on one side, and that is the side thinking that, look, you're past your prime, you have baggage, you have too much experience, you don't deserve what you deserved when you were 22 years old. When you had no children, you had no baggage, and you didn't have all this long history, and you didn't have all these bodies. The problem is, is that these women that are single moms... Um, have all this experience, all this stuff that they went through, they still want to be treated like they're 22 years old. And it just doesn't work like that. It's never going to work like that. And because men are telling the truth, then they're shaming women. They're bashing women. No, they're just telling you the truth. And you have to either accept it or not going to agree with this man with regards to yes of course single moms are atrocious they are road hard and put away wet and they have nothing to offer because that is not what that comment said and let me make this very clear just because men are saying that they prefer younger women it does not mean that men are saying that women that have children women that are older are trash or the bottom of the barrel it's just preference but as soon as a woman hears a man's preference then that means he's a misogynist he's garbage he hates women he throws women under the bus he doesn't value women no men just have preferences just like women do it has nothing to do with the woman the woman and who she is as a person it's just the preference god forbid they have kids and they're single uh, or the other ones that want to comment and say um, single moms are probably the best that are out there because they've held themselves to a higher standard and they take care of their kids and they can show dedication and loyalty. Yeah, I know. You think, well, that's backwards because they wouldn't be single if they could show dedication and loyalty. No, they can show dedication and loyalty th to themselves and their values, and they would rather be single than be with a man who literally degrades women because... Now, she just said it. They can be loyal to themselves. Loyalty to themselves. That is one of the biggest problems that they have. They are loyal to themselves. And I always say this, and I've said this a million times. Women are only loyal to themselves and how they feel in the moment. They are not loyal to men. They are not loyal to children. They are not loyal to their parents. They're not loyal to their job. They're not loyal to anything but their feelings and how they feel in the moment. And whatever they feel in the moment, they expect men to feel the same way and agree. And if men don't, and men have preferences, they're bad, they're misogynist, they're labeling women, this and that. Having a child is degrading and it lessens your value. I don't see that. Mm -mm. I don't see that. So I want, I want all of the men, because I know you love commenting on my stuff. Um, I want all of the men to comment. Do you, do you agree? Do you agree that single moms are low hanging fruit? And why? Give me a why. Don't just say yes. Or do you disagree? And why? I would love, I would love to continue this conversation. I, why would single moms are low hanging fruit and a lot of times single moms are very desperate because they actually know the situation that they're in it's just what it is they know that they have children that's something that a lot of men don't want to deal with they know that if they're older and have children they know that that's something that men don't want to deal with as far as a commitment why is it that women can disqualify men all damn day long, but men can never disqualify women? Men are just supposed to accept women for who they are. Men are just supposed to handle women. Women can have 50 kids, 30 marriages, 30 divorces, and men are just supposed to accept them because they're women. No, 
The world doesn't work like that. Just like women won't just accept any damn man, men should not be expected to just accept any woman. If you have a lot of these women that are married, are divorced, and have children, that is their choice. And they have to deal with the consequences of that. Stay in your marriage. Work on that. Stop listening to these women tell you that you will find the knight in shining armor even if you have 10 kids. Even if you are 60 years old, you'll still be able to get the guy that's 25. You'll still be able to get the guy that's 35. No. You might be able to get the guy that wants to have a sexual experience with you, but a commitment is a completely different thing. And just because you are a woman, that does not mean that you're entitled to that. And just like a man is not entitled to younger women, for a man to be attracted or, or, or uh, attractive to younger women, he has to have something going on, right? It can't just be about his looks. He has to have something going on as a man to even be able to get to that point. The bottom line is that everybody has preferences. And it's just that these women choose to get divorced. They choose to have children, break up their families, choose to waste a lot of time and they expect that it's a given that they could just still have to pick up the litter but they can't and that is what they're angry about that comment said nothing about women are trash said nothing about women with kids are trash said nothing about women that are older are trash it's all about preferences but men are shamed for their preferences look like Kevin Samuels used to say a lot of times, and I, and I agree with this. You are only worthy of the last person you were with. It's as simple as that. You can't expect diamonds when your ass constantly settled for bronze. It don't work like that, ladies. Stop wasting your time and stop leaving your marriages. Because these women that tell you this shit, they're just misery and we all know what it is misery loves company until you make it move out you better start having individual thought you better start looking at the big picture and you better start doing things that are the most beneficial for your children instead of yourself because when you hear women say uh they got divorced what is the first thing they say because I wasn't happy because he wasn't doing this for me and he wasn't doing that for me. You rarely hear them say anything about what the man wasn't doing for his child. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of times what they'll say is no, he was a great father. I I'll give him that. He's a great father for sure. Is it? The whole idea when you have children and you're in a marriage that you raise your kids the right way and they have the best that you can offer, you're now on the back burner. It's no longer about you when you have children. But unfortunately, a lot of these women still believe it's all about them. And that's their problem. They leave relationships that they should stay in. They cause their children all kind of drama and all kind of trauma. And they don't want to accept any kind of accountability for doing it. It's all the man. Because if the man was just this magical person and that can make them feel so happy all the time, then everything would be perfect. Because for these type of women, they have to be happy first. That is the most important thing. Not even their children. They have to be happy first. That's the most important thing. It's just a big ass selfish ball big ass selfish bowl I should say that they all swim in, swim in like guppies just swimming 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 it's just selfish and then they get single and think shit I, I still deserve the guy that I could get when I was 22 no you don't you have the power to achieve anything you want don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.